So part of my intention with these videos has always been to show life as it really is. And to be quite honest, I've kind of gotten stuck in a bit of a rut, I guess, over the past three or so weeks ever since I left my job. And I mean, I kind of understand where that might be coming from. Like, there are a lot of things I need to figure out, uh, steps to take for leaving the country actually, because I'm gonna be moving back to Europe pretty soon, probably at the end of next month. So yeah, there's constantly so much stuff in my head that I should be doing. Like, and it's, it's all very simple, small things, but it kind of adds up and it paralyzes me. I don't know if you, if you know that feeling, but it happens to me quite a lot. So yeah, uh, there are many things I need to research about what's required um, in terms of paperwork and official kind of stuff when leaving the country and, um, you know, it, yeah, it, it's, and you know, I need to figure out what to do with my furniture and all my things. And it's, um, yeah, it's just kind of a lot. One of the things that I was hoping to do is actually send New Year's cards on time for once. Because I'd already finished working a few days before Christmas and I saw some really cute New Year's cards. Um, maybe in case you don't know, uh, in Japan, it's not customary to send Christmas cards. Instead, you send New Year's cards and each year has a different animal because they're like the zodiac signs. And like they, they cycle through the 12 zodiacs, zodiac animals. And then this year is the year of the cow. I did already start writing one yesterday. And then I also got a different type. It's also quite pretty, I think. So you can see it. Um, yeah, anyway, so I was out. Oh, oops. <laughs> I actually went out to shop for groceries at one point. What a concept, right? Um, and then I saw these and I thought, oh, these are so cute. I mean, there were like tons of different types and styles and everything, but these are the two that stuck out to me because I just thought they were. They were really precious. Um, so I figured, oh hey, I have all this time on my hands. Spoiler alert. Lots of time on your hands can make you do somehow do fewer of the things you want to do. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. So I got these a long time ago and thought I would actually write them and post them in time to arrive for New Year's, at least here in Japan, for the people in Japan that I'm sending them to. But I also wanted to send some abroad to <sighs> friends and family. And those, like, even if they didn't make it on time, because, you know, mail service is not very reliable right now, but um, I was hoping to at least post them before the end of the year so that it wouldn't, you know, it would look like they could have made it on time. Well, so much for my intention. Uh, unfortunately, somehow this always happens. I visualize all of this in my mind and I'm so sure I'm going to do it and then I don't for whatever reason. Um, so what usually happens is um, I get kind of embarrassed about the fact that I wasn't able to... <sighs> Sorry, this is kind of really vulnerable for me. Um, yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. 
that I can't seem to get my act together. So rather than send them out way late, I just don't. And I think that's a shame. Because I think my friends and family would still be much happier about receiving a New Year's card, card really late than about never receiving one. I mean, if they don't know, and I, I didn't tell them I was gonna, well, most people I didn't tell them that I was planning on sending them something, but, um, so I guess my thinking is if they never knew, then it doesn't matter. They, it's not like they'll miss it. But still, it's it's a shame because you know they say that it's it's the thought that counts. But like, if people don't even know about your thoughts, then. All right, hang on, let me compose myself because I actually didn't mean for this to be um, crying in front of the camera type of video. That was not quite what I had in mind. I just wanted to be honest, but I guess honesty can be pretty emotional sometimes. So give me just a sec. Okay, we're back. Uh, I just realized that my instinct was to apologize. I got this urge to say, sorry about that. And then I realized there's nothing to apologize for. <laughs> like, even if I do decide to keep this in the video, which I probably will, because I don't like to cut a lot of stuff from my videos. Um, That's literally what I set out to do, is to make something that's honest and real. <laughs> Am I getting emotional again just by talking about this? Okay. Well, on the other hand, I know it can be a little uncomfortable to just sit and watch someone cry. Um, especially on video for some reason, so... I do not mean to make you uncomfortable, because this was actually supposed to be a very positive video um, with the message that, as I said before, it's way more valuable to do the things that you want to do for, to show care for other people, even if it's late and even if you feel like you've missed your chance or whatever. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, no matter how late it is, it's still better than never doing it and then regretting never doing it. And especially in my case, wow. <laughs> I did not anticipate how much of a minefield this topic would be, but obviously it makes sense that it is. Because when I think about it, Whew. Part of what makes this so difficult might be that <coughs> I am of course aware that this might be my last chance. In fact, it most probably is my last chance to send... <coughs> Sorry. Oh man, got that down the wrong pipe. <coughs> Um, it's my last chance to send, it's my last chance to send Japanese New Year's cards from Japan before leaving Japan. And while I'm very excited about the future and about moving back home and doing something new and hopefully learning a lot of cool new things and all of that, um, 
Things can be bittersweet, right? It's rare that something is just purely one or the other. And especially with something like this, where in order to get to the next chapter, you have to first close the previous chapter of your book. So, um, <laughs> we're back to full on crying. I hope that's okay, because if not, oh well. You may want to go watch something else. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. But if you are ready to be vulnerable with me and face those things that you've been putting off, especially if they're, you know, if they involve other people that you care about and want to show your love and appreciation to, then um, please join me. And please know that it's never too late. How could it be? Right? Like, well, while you're still here and while you can still do things, by definition, it's not too late. You can still, you can still do it. I can still do this, even though it's well into January now. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I have them, and I might as well send them, because otherwise... You know, even just appealing to the stingy side of myself, it's a waste of money, right? If that's all it takes, you know, if that's what it takes to um, <laughs> motivate me to actually use them, then that's another reason to do it. Why would I spend money on nice New Year's cards if I never send them? Okay, um, I should probably get a tissue. First of all, okay. There, all better. And then, yeah, I think I should just start. Um, uh, there's definitely been enough introduction and explanation as to why I'm doing this, uh, so all that's left to do is actually go ahead and do it, which, by being here and holding me accountable, you're helping me with that. So thank you. It's very difficult for me to outright ask for help. <laughs> I'm just gonna doodle for a second, okay? Okay. Don't you love my fountain pen, by the way? This is what I was taught to write with in school. And well, not this exact one, but we, we do use fountain pens in school in Germany. Okay. Seems like it's working. This one's kind of special because uh, it comes with this refillable cartridge. I don't know if you can see, but this is like, it's mm, this thing that you twist and suck up ink out of, oops, out of a little ink well like this. Um, okay, 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 enough stalling, but yeah. That's part of the fun, and I was I was actually looking forward to this as much as everything else. Just getting to write with a fountain pen, which I rarely do these days, but... Okay. Um, sorry, what was I saying? Right. Thank you for being here and helping me get started, because... Sometimes... That's really all you need is for someone to gently, well, not even, I, I don't think nudging someone in the right direction is necessarily helpful if they're in a, in the type of rut that I was in. Um, from experience, I know that I get 
more defined and less likely to do things if someone's nagging me about it. Uh, so that's not what I mean, but like, I think something that really helps someone in that situation is offering to do it with them or just to be there while they do it. Ooh, wow. Um, so, by being here and having watched to this point of the video, hats off to you, by the way. You are helping me more than you know. So thank you, and because I'm very bad at multitasking, and also <laughs> because I will need to stop crying at some point, so I don't get tears all over my cards and little letters and stuff, I'm going to be silent for the rest of this video, and um, I will keep you around for this, because as I explained earlier, it really helps just to have someone be with me while I do the things that I've been putting off. And you can use the footage of me doing that as just, you know, background ambience for doing your own things. That is always an option with my videos. In fact, it's kind of the main use case. Now, there's a word I haven't used since this one project at work. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's the main thing um, I kind of have in the back of my mind while making these. Is, um, will it be relaxing to just have on in the background? Um, so, don't worry, I'm not mad. I will not be disappointed or offended in any way if you don't watch my videos very intently in the way that you would consume other media, because that's not the point. You know, being immersive and occupying your mind and filling your whole attention, that's something that so many other things already do, right? Like shows and movies and most of YouTube demands attention from you and I, I don't see a need for me to make the same type of content because there's already so much of that out there and I was trying to tap into something that I would have liked a bit more of which is you know the possibility to just hang out with someone genuinely like there are a few, but not very many, examples of YouTubers, I think, who do or did exactly that sort of thing, but um, it's not that common. Okay, okay, if it's a little shaky, I'm sorry, I, I don't know where else to attach my camera holder thingy other than on the desk itself, which every time I bump against it, it's gonna move, but I'm sure you can handle that. <laughs> sure you can deal. All right. I'm gonna go <laughs> blow my nose once more, and then we'll be back and just start writing. And thinking about the people closest to us, even if they're very far away physically. Also, I've been speaking very quietly for the past uh, little while, so I hope you could even hear anything over my babbling brook over here. <laughs> well, I'll find out during editing. Let's do something we've been putting up together. Now. All right.
Mm-hmm. 